This is day nine of our trial, so the end of day nine, and we're seeing some, uh, well, mixed results here. Uh, the first thing I'll say is both the wheatgrass and the sunflower are, are really nice looking crops. Um, while I was expecting to see some yellowing and signs of nutrient deficiency, I'm not seeing that at all. So I'm really pleased with that so far. What I am still continuing to see is that the growth is slower than it has been in, in my soil. Now, I'll, I'll be fair that it might be a little cooler in here than usual, uh, even though those are conditions that the wheatgrass usually really likes. Um, and so in my next trial, I will do some side by side. I'm going to have way too much wheatgrass, but that's fine. Uh, and I am still seeing, just been keeping an eye, still getting quite nice root growth under these. So the, the wheatgrass continues to grow and you don't see a lot of roots on the top. You see a few poking out the side here, but the wheatgrass growing, root growing pattern is, is to go through the holes and spread out uh, to get water down there. Now the sunflower is, is, is a really interesting contrast. When we look under here, um, we see that the roots are really just coming out a little bit here. And we can see on the top, it's hard to tell really from the camera, even in person, but there does seem to be more root growth up here. And so we see like there's root growth under the mat here. Um, and that's just not happening. Well, it may be happening with the wheatgrass, but I can't even lift up this mat because there, there's so much root going through the hole. So just really different growing pattern. That said, there's also different um, uh, hole patterns in these trays. So that could be a factor as well. So um, really intriguing. So maybe in the next trial, we'll switch those as well. The other thing I'm thinking is that because I'm concerned about uh, maybe it being a little cool in here, uh, as you remember, I've turned off the heat mat because it was damaging the roots. And as, as I watch growth and see how this is going, what I am thinking is if I kept these, if I kept more water in this bottom tray, and I would say more than I initially feel comfortable with, that should mitigate any damage from the heat mat on the roots. Again, my intuition is to not have standing water down there, but I can see that there is a bit of water in this tray here, and I don't know that a bit more would be that harmful. And so that water might uh, just help with that. So that's something I'm going to consider for the next trial as well. Again, just a little bit of moisture in there, but I think they can handle um, a bit of water, standing water there without having any problems. So those are things we'll consider. What it's looking like is that this wheatgrass is going to need another full day of growth. And it's tricky because it's actually, you know, um, it looks shorter than my usual wheatgrass, but it's also an inch and a half lower in the tray. So I've really got to be mindful that I'm not just uh, tricking myself into thinking that it's shorter when it's actually about the same height. Um, but I've grown enough wheatgrass to know that it, it is a little short, but it's really nice looking. So my guess is I'm going to give it a full day tomorrow which is October 18th. And then I will juice on the morning of October 19th and give this a try to see how the juice is. And I've got a, a, a podcast interview at seven o'clock in the morning on that day. So that'll be particularly well-timed. And then we'll also be looking on the morning of the 19th to see if the sunflower is ready. Now, sunflower often, I've had mixed results with this lot of sunflower and sunflower is often a day longer than wheatgrass but this lot has been growing very fast. So I'm expecting it'll be sufficient by the 19th as well. Pretty happy with the growth here. Still lots of hulls attached. Uh, lots more of those will pop off and I can brush them a bit more. Um, and I'm also, the seeding density with this variety, I'm, I'm using the same seeding density as my previous lot of seed and I'm seeing that's a little too dense. So this is, I think, 125 or 126 grams of seed. And I think what I'm going to do is take it down to about 110. So that'll make a difference, maybe 115. So I'll play with that. So a few changes we can make, but otherwise, again, seeing really, really impressive results so far with the uh, Terra Fiber hemp mat uh, in our uh, mats versus soil trial.